hello guys you're welcome again to another after effect tutorials today i want to show you how you can create a bouncing ball in adobe after effect i will also show you how you can add softness to reach a soft body effect and also you can make any object follow the bouncing without necessarily recreating that animation again for the new object so let's get started Below the top menu bar right there, you can see the rectangular tool next to the pen tool. Click and hold then select the ellipse tool. Draw a circle like this. Hold down your shift. About this is okay. Then drop the tool. Then align this to center. Below the standard menu tool, you also see the anchor point tool. Click on it and then move the anchor point to the bottom of the ball drop the anchor tool and then move your time indicator to zero this point we're gonna move this up hit p on your keyboard to reveal the position properties set a keyframe at this point then go to five frames forward in time and then bring it down go to 10 frames forward in time and then move it up this time around we will not move it to the point it was before because it is gradually going to slow down go to 15 frames forward in time and bring it down as i am doing this i held down the shift key so that it will come down straight and go up straight then go to 20 frames forward in time and then pull it back again this time around slightly below what it was then go back to 25 frames forward in time and then bring it down again this is what you have so select all the keyframes right click on them go to keyframe assistant then easy ease you can also hit f9 to get this go to graph editor and change your curves to something like this this is a basic hardball bouncing animation so now let's add some softness to it so that it will simulate a soft ball uh, bouncing effect so hold down shift key and hit s on your keyboard that will bring up the scale value while your position values or properties is still active now uncheck the uniform scale so at every point that the ball hits the ground we're gonna add a squashing so what you're gonna do is to come to four frames right here four frames then set a keyframe for the scale then go to five frames and then set a keyframe by squashing it a bit the wider you squash it the softer the ball looks so i'm going to squash it a little bit like this then i'll still move one frame forward and then set the scale value to 100 right now at every time the ball hits the ground we should have a squashing effect so what we're going to do is just to copy these three keyframes for the scale ctrl c to copy it and then move your time indicator to the point where it hits the ground that is one frame to the point then you paste the keyframe that is gonna add this question right here so but this time around so i'm gonna set this to 115 because the impact is less right at this point so if you play this now you can see that it is squashing but it's just that a soft ball will not bounce this fast so all you're gonna do now is to stretch out your keyframe to slow it down so that it will simulate the softness of the ball properly so select all your keyframes right here then hold down the alt key and pull this first keyframe open it this will all depend on your preferences so you can open it as much as you can so i'm gonna leave this like this so let's try this and see you can see it has simulated the softness for the ball just by adding the scale value uh, just by animating the scale and then stretching out the keyframes so with this style now technique now you can bring in any object and then parent the ball uh to the object and the object or text will all bounce the same thing without necessarily creating the animation again 
So that is it guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please support me on this one by hitting the like button, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on the notification. Until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.